Hello, hockey fans and everybody in between. Welcome to another episode of Hockey Society. I'm Alan Hockey, and today we're going to tackle the subject of just a little short, small list of players, with no pun intended. Well, yeah, maybe. Um, we're going to talk about short, the short hockey players from the NHL history. And there's been a couple of them. I'm short myself, so it's no take on them. These are great players, and some of them are my favorites. That's why I started watching hockey, because of some of these guys. Uh, the first guy is Brian Gianta. He was a U.S. Olympian this year, um, and he was five foot seven, and he was drafted 82nd overall in the NHL. And uh, the next guy is Theo Fleury, who was five six, my, one of my all-time favorite players, drafted 166th overall, and won a Stanley Cup with the Calgary Flames in 1989 and was a two, was an all-star in 1994 and 95 season and he went on to a great career. He also played for the New York Rangers and some of the other players that I, I enjoy watching were Mart, Martin St. Louis played for the Tampa Bay Lightning, and he, uh, he's 5'8", and he also won a Stanley Cup with the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, and a bunch of other awards, like Most Outstanding Player in 2003, 2004, Hart Trophy, and Most Valuable Player in 2003, 2004. Also, the Lady Bing Trophy, which goes to most gentlemanly player, which he won in 2009-10. But just because those guys are the nice players, that don't mean, or short players, and some of the nice players. So there's been a couple guys that would are small that could scrap it up a little bit. And some of those, those players are, uh, one was uh, Ty Domi. And he was, uh, and he's 5'8", and he would play for uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs and the New York Rangers. Uh, he was, he was a scrapper, man. He just went at it. He dropped the gloves with anybody. He didn't care who it was. He just battled and fought, and he even fought a fan that was in the penalty box and he came in there and the guy, the guy fell in the penalty box after Ty Domi squirted water on him. It was pretty cool, fun watch. And uh, the, this list is, is pretty, is, there's a lot of them. This list, is, there's a lot of guys. Uh, Nathan Gerby. Five five, uh, Rocco Grimaldi five six, Matt Zuccarilla is five seven, Stefan Gianta, Brian Gianta's brother uh, is five seven, David DeHarnay also five seven. A lot of these guys are like about five seven, but then you get to the guy who was the shortest player in NHL history. His name was his nickname was Shrimp, but his full name was Roy Warders. I think that's how you say his name. Is the shortest player in NHL history at only five foot three inches tall. Hey, like me. Warders played for twelve seasons in the NHL in nineteen twenty-five, thirty and through thirty-seven playing for the Pittsburgh Pirates, New York Americans, Montreal Canadiens, playing in 484 games, recording 171 wins, 66 shutouts, and ending his career with 
a 2.27 goals against average. He may have been the shortest to play the game, but had a big impact in the game as well. Because he's won the Hart Trophy, the Vesna Trophy, and he was a two-time All-Star, and he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's a pretty impressive list. Uh, some of the other notable guys was uh, former Minnesota North Star Dennis Marook. He was 5'8", and he played a long time in the NHL. Uh, he's played for Washington, Minnesota North Stars, and he went on to coach many teams in the past, and including the Minnesota Arctic Blast roller hockey team. Kind of have to mention that team since I play roller hockey. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, else. And then, and then there's also Johnny Goudreau. They call him Johnny Hockey because he was such an outstanding player in college. And he's 5'9", and uh, he's currently playing, I think, for the Calgary Flames, if I remember correctly, that he never got traded. Uh, he's, he's really outstanding to watch and fun to watch. There's also... Uh, Um, also, Jared Spurgeon, I think, is 5'9", Minnesota Wild player, if I remember correctly. I don't see him on my list anymore. He was on the list. But anyways, um, he's... And then there's been many, many sh small players that have played in the NHL including one that's a former gopher, Corey Millen, who was born in Cloquet, Minnesota. Went on to play for the New Jersey Devils, he played for the Kings, the Dallas Stars, Calgary Flames, and of course the U.S. national team. And I wish some of these guys were still playing now. Some of them are, but there's... John, uh, Nathan Gerby was also was five five, and Joe Whitney was five six. Rocco Grimaldi, I mentioned him earlier at five six. And then there's David Deharnay from Montreal. He was five seven. I don't even know if he's a Canadian anymore. I this list is kind of old. I think. Uh, Pat Gonchar, uh, there's Kevin Gagne, Corey Gonchar, and Joe Diamond, all are short guys that have played in the NHL. So if you have a dream of playing in the NHL or any sport or doing anything, keep your dreams going. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do them because these guys are proof you can. And it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter what size you are. You can do whatever you want, and that's. Um, Current, the current sh shortest player in, to play in the NHL is Nathan Gerby. We already mentioned him, but he's currently playing. Uh, so is Matt Zuccarella. He's still playing. Uh, 
Mart Martin St. Louis, who played for the New York Rangers and Tampa Bay Lightning, he was a scrapper. He and he battled hard, and he was so much fun to watch. And then there, there was another player. He didn't play in the NHL, but he was he played roller hockey professionally for the Buffalo Wings from uh, 1996 to 2000. His name was Ken Corp, and he he dropped the gloves with just about anybody. He didn't care who who he was fighting, whether he was a big guy or a small guy. He'd go after anybody. It didn't matter. It was Really exciting to watch him. Not many people know about roller hockey, but a lot of these guys on the list play roller hockey. Or it's also known as inline hockey at times. And uh, and that's one of the reasons I started playing roller hockey was because I had I was a short guy and I wanted to play hockey and I could not play I couldn't play hockey when I was a kid so various reasons but I love the game of hockey just because of this is one of the reasons why is because of the short guys and uh, with that said, like I said before, size doesn't matter. It's it's what you got heart, here, heart, and your will. You're willing to win and play hard and work hard to get what you want. And some days, hey, it'll work out. Some day it'll work out if you just work your butt off, and that's what these guys prove. And that, that's about uh, it for my show today. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you next time.